Hey guys, John Campy here. Now, as you all probably know by now, Marvel and Creed actor Jonathan Majors has been found guilty on two of the four charges that he was facing in Manhattan Criminal Court following his arrest back in March of 2023 as a result of an alleged assault on his then-girlfriend, Grace Jabari. But what was he actually convicted of? Why wasn't he convicted on all four charges? And what was he found not guilty of? Let's get into that and try to clear up some of the confusion. Now, Manhattan prosecutors brought four different charges against Jonathan Majors. One, reckless assault in the third degree. Two, harassment in the second degree. Three, intentional assault in the third degree. And four, aggravated harassment in the second degree. Now, ultimately, a jury found Majors guilty on the first two charges, reckless assault in the third degree and harassment in the second degree, while being acquitted in the second two charges, intentional assault in the third degree and aggravated harassment in the second degree. So what does all this mean? What exactly was he found guilty of doing? Well, let's start with the first charge that he was found guilty of, reckless assault in the third degree. Assault in the third degree is the lowest tier of assault charges. It occurs when somebody inflicts physical injury or substantial pain on another person. Now, New York Penal Code Section 120 defines assault in the third degree like this. A person is guilty of assault in the third degree when, one, with intent to cause physical injury to another person, he causes such injury to such person or to a third person. Two, he recklessly causes physical injury to another person. Or three, with criminal negligence, he causes physical injury to another person by means of a deadly weapon or a dangerous instrument. Assault in the third degree is a Class A misdemeanor. Now, for clarification, someone convicted of a Class A misdemeanor could spend up to a year in jail or be sentenced to probation, a fine, anger management, or maybe even community service. Now, as the name suggests, this specific charge that he was found guilty of was centered around that second point, that he recklessly caused physical harm and injury to another person. In essence, the jury found that Majors did not set out with intent to harm and injure Grace Jabari. He did nonetheless cause her harm and injury as a result of his own reckless behavior and actions, and thus, the guilty verdict. The second charge that he was found guilty of was harassment in the second degree, which is defined like this. A person is guilty of harassment in the second degree when, with intent to harass, annoy, or alarm another person, one, he or she strikes, shoves, kicks, or otherwise subjects such other person to physical contact or attempts to threaten to do the same, or two, he or she follows a person in or about a public place or places, or three, he or she engages in a course of conduct or repeatedly commits acts which alarm or seriously annoy such other person, which serves no legitimate purpose. Now, for the purposes of this charge, prosecutors were specifically focusing on subdivision one relating to striking and physical contact. Now, unlike the assault charge, this was considered a non-criminal offense, and thus, instead of being guilty of another Class A misdemeanor, Majors was found guilty of a violation, which can carry penalties that include, you know, a fine, community service, a protection order, or even up to 15 days in jail. Okay. So that's what he was found guilty of. Now let's take a quick look at the two charges he was found not guilty of. Firstly, he was found not guilty of intentional assault in the third degree. Now this goes back to the same New York Penal Code, Section 120, that we looked at earlier, except this one implies that the harm and injury caused by the defendant was intentional. It suggests that Jonathan Major specifically intended to harm Grace Jabari. The jury rejected this one. So while they did find that Majors caused physical injury and harm on Jabari, they believed he did so as a result of reckless behavior, not specific intent. And lastly, Majors was found not guilty of aggravated harassment in the second degree. Aggravated harassment in the second degree applies when individuals engage in certain actions that are intended to annoy, threaten, or cause another person to fear for their safety. While this may sound a bit like the basic harassment charge that Majors was found guilty of, aggravated harassment differs in that it's more serious. It's an actual criminal offense, and instead of just being a violation, it's a Class A misdemeanor like the assault charge was, which carries up to another year in prison. 
Now, sentencing for Jonathan Majors doesn't actually happen until February 6th, where he faces up to one year in prison and some other penalties. Now, how hard or how soft they'll go on him, we're just going to have to wait and see. So, hopefully this little video has helped clarify what Jonathan Majors was and, just as importantly, was not convicted of. I hope you found this useful. My name is John Campia, and I'll see you next time.